Well, 100,000 people a year die of infections that they get while they are in the hospital. Many of those could be prevented with simple hand washing. And now a New York hospital is using a high-tech way to get doctors and nurses to improve their hand hygiene. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports. They're everywhere. Video surveillance cameras record crimes in progress, traffic stops, accidents, and red light violators. And now, hand washing? Yep, the latest tool to get healthcare workers to practice good hand hygiene. New sensors and cameras detect when healthcare workers enter ICU rooms at North Shore University Hospital and whether they've used the hand disinfectant. The idea was to change the culture of the employees or, or the nurses who worked in an intensive care unit where it became a normal routine to wash your hands going in and out of a room. The videos are sampled and sent via internet to humans who judge whether and how often workers did appropriate hand hygiene. And then there are real-time scoreboards showing the staff how they're doing. So far it's been used in the ICUs, but it's been so successful there's talk of expanding it to other areas of the hospital. We've gone from relatively low rates of compliance to incredibly high rates. Infections strike one of every 20 patients while they're in a hospital and those infections tend to be hard to treat because the bugs that live in hospitals are often antibiotic resistant. Hand washing has been shown to be the backbone of infection control for the last 150 years. The hand washing data is only used as an aggregate not to single out or punish any individual employee and patients are not in the shots to protect their privacy. And while the video monitoring system is not cheap, preventing just one or two ICU infections at up to $80,000 per patient could easily pay for the system. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And as an added benefit, the hospital says they've seen many more family members using the hand disinfectants when they go into the ICU.